Bites is a weekly vodcast in collaboration with the Ignite Introducing Graphic Novels into Education podcast. Hosts Carolyn and Wynn, they select five graphic novel titles that complements the podcast weekly theme. This week's theme is a graphic novels and literacy, so we'll focus on popular graphic novel titles that would encourage students to read. Sisters by Raina Talgemeyer was reviewed by the New York Times as one of the most accurate portrayals of a family reunion I have ever read. The summary by Scholastic. Raina can't wait to be a big sister, but once Amara is born, things aren't quite how she expected them to be. Amara is cute, but she's also a cranky, grouchy baby and mostly prefers to play by herself. Their relationship doesn't improve much over the years, but when a baby brother enters the picture and later something doesn't seem right between their parents, they realize they must figure out how to get along. They are sisters after all. Rainer uses her signature humor and charm in both present-day narrative and perfectly placed flashbacks to tell the story of their relationship with her sister that unfolds during the course of a road trip. Awkward by Slavena Chimikova. The summary by Scholastics. Cardinal rule number one for surviving school. Don't get noticed by the mean kids. Cardinal rule number two for surviving school. Seek out groups with similar interests and join them. On her first day at her new school, Penelope, Pepe Torres, reminds herself of these basics, but when she trips into a quiet boy in the hall, Jamie Thompson, she's already broken the first rule. And then the mean kids start calling her the nerdier girlfriend. How does she handle this crisis? By shoving poor Jamie and running away, falling back on rule two and surrounding herself with new friends and art club. Peppy still can't help feeling ashamed about the way she treated Jamie. Things are already awkward enough between the two of them. New Kid by Jerry Craft. Summary from Goodreads. Seventh grader Jordan Banks loves nothing more than drawing cartoons about his life, but instead of sending him to the art school of his dreams, his parents enroll him in the prestigious private school known for its academics, where Jordan is one of the few kids of color in his entire grade. As he makes the daily trip from his Washington Heights apartment to the upscale Riverdale Academy day school, Jordan soon finds himself torn between two worlds and not really fitting into either one. Can Jordan learn to navigate his new school culture while keeping his neighborhood friends and staying true to himself? A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lingle, a short review by Scholastics. The world already knows Meg and Charles Wallace Murray, Calvin O'Keefe, and the three Miss Who Watsits, and watch the memorable and wonderful characters who fight off the dark force and save our universe in the Newbery award-winning classic, A Wrinkle in Time. But in 50 years of publication, the book has never been illustrated. Now, Hope Laurelson takes the classic story to a new level with her vividly imagined interpretations of Tessering and her favorite characters, like the happy medium and ant beast. Perfect for old fans and winning over new ones, this graphic novel adaptations is a must read. Pick this book up today to see the new illustrations. Real Friends by Shannon Hale. Summary from Goodreads. Shannon and Adrian have been best friends ever since they were little, but one day Adrian starts hanging out with Jen, the most popular girl in class and the leader of a circle of friends called The Group. Everyone in the group wants to be Jen's number one, and some girls would do anything to stay on top, even if it means bullying others. Now, every day is like a roller coaster for Shannon. Will she and Adrian stay friends? Can she stand up for herself? And is she in the group or out? Newbery Honor author Shannon Hale and New York Times bestselling illustrator Luen Pham join forces in this graphic memoir about how hard it is to find your real friends and why it's worth the journey. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our Ignite podcast and website.